What is up everyone, it is me Sivo. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you about commands. First, we're going to do a normal ping command where it shows your bot latency. And, um, and then we're going to do an 8-ball command which uh, asks for a second argument. So you do 8-ball and then you put in a question. And yeah, so basically you'll know how to write commands by adding another um, argument inside it. So yeah, that's the basically the main stuff arguments. The rest is just how you want to create a program which you should basically know how to do through learning python so anyways let's get uh, started so we do bot dot command uh, not comma so we do bot dot command and then we do async def and then we're just going to do normal ping one so ping um we're going to put a ctx inside ctx known as context basically is uh basically how we're going to get send the message to the uh how the bot's going to send a message so then we do await if you don't await it you want to wait to the discord so make sure you always await when you're sending a message so await your ctx so we get the context then we send it or you can reply it it's optional so i'm just going to do i'm just going to do a reply as i like it how it looks and then we're going to do uh, an f string and then we're going to put pong and then uh, exclamation mark and then we're going to use the uh, curly brackets and then in here we're going to do round and then we're going to get the bot latency so we do this by doing bot dot latency it's already an option and then we're just going to times it by a thousand to get the ms so um basically milliseconds and then um as otherwise if you don't times by a thousand if it is very low it will be very small it'll be like negatives or whatever i can't remember but yeah and now that's basically all that is for the ping command so if we actually run the bot and we um test out the the ping command it will give us the bots a latency basically it's like ping in a way but yeah so um if we go here and we just do ping it's gonna say pong and 97 millisecs is that milliseconds i think oh I've got, yeah i think so uh if i'm not just uh, correct me in the comments as you see guys that was very simple literally two lines to make a simple ping command so you can do like a fact and then get a random dot choice from a list which we are actually going to do from for the able so let's make the able so we're going to be using a thing as well called uh aliases aliases i can't sound properly basically instead of writing able all well you can write just the number eight or a ball or and we also just do test to show that it works so we'll do at a bot dot command make sure you do brackets with commands you're going to do async def and you can't put numbers in here otherwise it will not work as you see so you have to make sure you do that i will show you how you can use the number in a sec so now if we just uh put in first we're going to put in ctx then we're going to put in an argument so the asterisk and then we're going to put in a question so basically this is kind of like think of this as like a space you click space and then you can put in this in a way so yeah and then we're just going to put a uh, code on here but first we're going to set up our aliases so make sure you spell it right because it don't pop up automatically so a l i and then it's going to be a s e s then we're going to just do equals and then we're going to use a list um so we're going to put the brackets down and then we're going to write some uh um freaking what are they called aliases jesus uh so first we're going to do eight ball just like that and then we're just going to do another one and it's just so i can show you that it works we're just going to do test simple as that and now we're going to get responses real quick so i've got a list already made from responses i will leave it down in the description if you want to copy and paste that so as you see it's here and um now we've just got to wait and get a random one out of this so basically if we do await ctx.send and then we do an s string we're going to use asterisks to make it look nice so we'll get four of them and then just write question so because we're getting the question so question and then colon and then space and then we're going to do um a space again and we're going to get a question so what the user put so this is what the user has written down such as like am i cool and it's going to print that and then we're going to get a new line or you can do a wait to see this or send again but we're just going to make it easier and just do new line and then we're just going to put in we're going to put in four asterisks again um oh my bad i got rid of the quotation and then we're just going to do answers so this is what the bot has answered and then we're going to get a random so how we do this is make sure you import random up here otherwise the random functions uh won't work so we're going to do random dot choice and then we're going to get a random dot choice out of the responses so responses like that and now that is all you have to do so basically what happens is 
um, question, you get a question what the users wrote, uh, and then once it, you get a question, it won't get um, the eight ball as this separates it basically, and um, it gets the question what you have wrote, make a new line, and you got the answers, and it gets a random answer out of here as it gets a random choice from the responses, and then it prints it out. So let's uh, let's show you, shall I? So um, if we go over to our Discord while we run our bot and if we go uh, let's just do normal 8 ball right now so 8 ball am I really cool it's going to say question am I really cool what I've written here and it's going to say as I see it yes nice and simple it's pretty fun and yeah so let's choose the test one so test is my channel elite I have no idea how you spell elite but um no all right nice it's, it's superior that's why <laughs> but anyways uh hope you guys enjoyed hope you enjoyed that and understood how to add a question so you can do so many things with an argument such as you can i don't i can't think of any off the top of my head but you can do a lot of stuff with it <laughs> as you can ask questions you can say give me a fact and then you put a country and it gives you a fact about a country so like if it's equal to blah 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 then yeah but that's where normal programming knowledge comes in so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. I am probably going to be doing embeds as embeds are really fun to do and they look cool. So yeah.